BPS Customs coverage of CES 2018 in Las Vegas is brought to you by Enermax and CableMod. Thank you to them for making our trip possible. Check out their links in the video description and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for all the latest hardware news from the year's biggest electronics expo. What's up guys, we have arrived here at Enermax, one of our sponsors for CES 2018. They got a new case, which we're gonna check out right here. And then over there, some new coolers and even some new custom water cooling gear. One of the cooler cases we've seen this year at CES is this one. This is the Enermax Sabre Ray. And as you guys can see, it's got all kinds of RGB LED goodness. Uh, inside, it's got your standard power supply shroud. If I can get this thing out of the way. Uh, so the design on this isn't yet exactly finalized. There might not be a big Enermax logo when it launches. There might, there may or may not be a five and a quarter inch bay, uh, but I've been told that if it's there, it'll be removable. But the majority of the features are pretty locked in at this point. Uh, you guys can see that it does have plenty of room up top. You can actually mount fans above this panel as well as below, and you have plenty of memory clearance. The top supports a 360, the front supports a 360, and these fans are actually placed here mainly for show, but this wall can be used to mount fans if you want, or storage devices, SSDs, or hard drives. The front of the case here, like I said, does support a 360 millimeter radiator, but Enermax is including in the box this. This is a replaceable panel for the front of the case. This is a mesh panel. It's made for airflow. It directly replaces the front acrylic panel on the Sabre Ray. And Enermax kind of hinted that, yeah, you know, there's been some feedback recently that people want more airflow in their cases and they're a little disappointed with the closed off designs that a lot of companies are offering. So this is going to be in the box and it's a direct replacement for the acrylic. Now, fastening this, taking it off and putting it back on is real easy. You just press in and it pops right off and reattaches in the same manner. As you guys can also see, this top panel is also that same mesh. So you could actually swap the acrylic up here if you're not using any fans on the top of your case, if you want a little bit of a different look. But these RGB strips actually go all the way around. So you have a very bold design, very colorful design, and a whole new design coming from Enermax with the Sabre Ray. Pricing on this is yet to be announced because they are still working on a few tweaks, like I said, but availability should be Q2. So over here we have another Sabre Ray, and you might kind of say, well, you know, it's the same case, but if you look a little bit closer, there's actually a brand new water block in here. Now this is gonna be universal Intel and AMD. No pricing or availability yet on this. They are still working on it. This is actually still a prototype, but they are getting into the custom water cooling game. They already have their Neo Changer, which I took a look at on the channel a couple months ago, and perhaps maybe some additional uh, components in the future. These are the TBRGB fans. Now, they have a little bit of a different design than a lot of other fans on the market, and they should be coming pretty soon, uh, probably end of January. They should be available in retail outlets, uh, available in a three pack, of 120 millimeter for now, perhaps 140 millimeter in the future. But these are actually a completely new design. These are the TB Silence, and they actually have an aluminum ring. They're manufactured and designed for, as the name would suggest, silent operation. These are for kind of the no flash, no frills kind of systems. The frame is made of aluminum and is actually really light, and they're very quiet. So. This is a completely different focus from the TBRGB, but still more quality cooling products from Enermax. So you guys want AIOs and Enermax has two new ones. This is the Lick Fusion. And as you guys can see, this block is not like anything that I've seen before. Uh, it's got a clear acrylic top. It's got the RGB Enermax logo. And the pump is actually not housed here. It's actually housed in this that's attached to the tubing. Not quite sure how I feel about that just yet, but it does make for quite a striking appearance, especially when you take a look at the block. This will be coming with the TBRGB fans as well. 
And then this is the Lictec 2. Now, Intermax does have, and I've actually tested out the Lictec TR4. This is the same pump design, only the mounting solution is now for mainstream Intel and AMD sockets. So this is your Z370, AM4, those kinds of boards, even X299. But it'll come in several different sizes. Uh, pricing should be similar to the Lick Fusion, so the 240 should be about $120. But again, this is coming in Q2. And finally, we have a couple of new power supplies. This is the Revolution DF. This is an 80 plus gold rated power supply. Uh, and it's got the dust free technology. Basically you hit a button and the fans spin backwards, allowing you to eject any dust that's accumulated on the fans and make sure that your power supply stays nice and clean. This right next to it is the Max Titan Mining. Now, this isn't going to be available for a little bit, probably Q3, Q4 2018, and it's not necessarily going to be available in retail channels, more of a specialty item. However, Intermax does realize and recognize that the mining community does need some additional power. So this actually will have a turbo button on it that when you hit it, ramps the fans up to maximum for, you know, that cool operation, especially if you're running something like a mining rig 24 hours a day. So thanks once again to Anermax, these guys right here for sponsoring our CES 2018 content along with Cable Mod. Stay tuned to the channel for more videos from Las Vegas. See you guys next time.